after we finished with the one way ANOVA now let's go to the two way ANOVA we will use two way ANOVA to determine if there is an interaction effect between two factors in an experiment in two way ANOVA we have two factors factor A and factor B if you still remember in one way ANOVA we only have one factor but now in two way ANOVA we have two factors two factors will be the two independent variables and then the dependent variable is the replication data before we proceed with the two way ANOVA test let's look at the assumptions the assumptions for two way ANOVA is the same as the assumptions for one way ANOVA it is just one way ANOVA have three and two way ANOVA have six assumptions number one two and three is the same as one way ANOVA assumptions with the additional number four five and six look at assumptions number four observations are taken on every possible treatment number five the number of replication is the same for each treatment you cannot have different number of replication for different treatment the number of the replication must be the same for each treatment and then the last one is the number of replication per treatment must be at least two replications this is the tabulation data for the two ways ANOVA as you can see in two way ANOVA we have two factors factor A will be represented by the rows factor B will be represented by the columns small letter of A is the number of level of factor A small letter of B is the number of level of factor B and R is the number of replications we can find the number of level of factor B by looking at the how many rows you have one two until the last rows and we can find out the number of level of factor B by looking at the number of column you have until the last column this is the total for row number one row number two until total for the last rows this is the total number for column number one until the last column and x dot 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 here is the total number for all data the general model for two is ANOVA is SIJK equal mu plus alpha i plus beta j plus alpha beta i j plus epsilon i j k with the mu is the overall mean alpha is the effect of the i level of factor a beta j is the effect of the j level of factor b alpha beta is the interaction effect of the i level of factor a and the j level of factor b and the epsilon i j k is the random error two rules should be fulfilled for two ways ANOVA which are rule A is the same as the rules for one way ANOVA rule B is the summation of alpha i must be equal zero the summation of beta i must be equal zero the summation of alpha beta i j until A must be equal zero and the last one the summation of alpha beta i j until b must be equal zero also this is the hypothesis for the two way ANOVA test we have the interaction effect we have the row effect and the last one will be the column effect the row effect and the column effect also known as 
the marginal effect the first hypothesis we want to test is the interaction effect your rationale for the interaction effect is there is no interaction effect between factor A and factor B your H1 will be there is an interaction effect between factor A and factor B after we finish with the interaction effect we will proceed with the row and the column effect but with one condition we will proceed with the marginal effect if there is no interaction effect between factor A and factor B if there is no interaction effect between factor A and factor B we will proceed with the marginal effect the first one we want to test is the row effect for factor A so your hash now will be there is no effect of factor A H1 there is an effect of factor A for your column effect H now will be there is no effect of factor B your H1 will be there is an effect of factor B this is the formula to find all the values for the summation square we have the summation square total we have the summation square A for the row effect we have the summation square B for the column effect we have the summation square AB for the interaction effect and we have the summation square error for the summation square total the formula is this is the total for each data you have in your table minus 1 over ABR x dot 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 square this is the big total the total data for the summation square A 1 over BR this is the summation for each row minus 1 over ABR x dot dot square for SSP 1 over BR this is the summation for each columns minus 1 over ABR x dot 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 square for summation square AB 1 over R this is the total number for each interaction value in your table minus 1 over ABR x dot 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 square minus SSA and minus SSP SSE equal SS total minus SSA minus SSP and minus SSEB I think you will understand this formula better when we go to the example after this now let's take a look at the two-way ANOVA table you must construct this table and complete this table with the correct values for all the values needed as we can see the first row is for the row effect the second row for the column effect the third row for the interaction effect the fourth row for the error and the last row for the total the first column we have the sum of square the second column is the degree of freedom the third column is the mean of square the fourth column is the F test value and the last column is the critical value after you finish calculate all the sum of square values using the formula we discussed previously you will fill all the values into the first column SSA, SSP, SSAB, SSE and the last one will be the SS total make sure you have all the values correct before you proceed 
to the second column which is for the degree of freedom the first one is a minus 1 small letter of a minus 1 small letter of a is the level factor the level for factor a next b minus 1 the third one is the a minus b multiplied by b minus 1 next we have a b multiplied by r minus 1 the last one will be the a b r minus 1 after we finish complete the first column and the second column next we move on the third column mean of square to find the value for mean of square for factor a the formula is SSA divide A minus 1 so if we can see from this table SSA will divide the degree of freedom and then we will have the MSA for the MSB SSB divide B minus 1 and then we will have the MSB for the MSAB, SSAB divide A minus B multiply A minus 1 multiplied by B minus 1 and then you will have the MSAB. For the MS error, SSE divide the ABR minus 1 and then you will have MSA. After you finish with the third column, next we, we move on to the F test. To find the F test for row effect, the formula is MSA divide MSE. So that means this value you will divide this value and then you will have the F test. Same goes to the uh, F test for column effect. MSP also divide the MSE and then you will have the FSB. F test for B. The last one will be F test for the interaction effect. MSAB also divide the MSE and then you will have the F test for AB it's very easy to understand this table how to find all the values in the table if you can see the flow the last one is the critical value for row effect is F alpha A minus 1 A B R minus 1 the second critical value is F alpha B minus 1 A B R minus 1 and the last one is F alpha A minus 1 B minus 1, ABR minus 1. After you finish calculate the F test and you have the critical value, next you can have your analysis. So your decision is reject your H null if your F test larger than your F alpha. Also, you need to reject H null if your F test B larger than your f alpha for the column effect and you will reject the h now for the interaction effect if your f test larger than the f alpha for the interaction effect this flow chart show you the procedure for the two-way ANOVA test the first hypothesis we want to test is the interaction effect between the factor a and factor b so is there an effect due to the interaction between the two factors 
if your answer is yes, that means you are reject H now. That means if you reject H now, that means there are interaction effect between factor A and factor B. So you have to stop your analysis and do not proceed with the marginal analysis. But if your decision for the interaction effect is set H now, that means there are no interaction effect between the factor A and factor B. If there are no interaction effect, that means you have to proceed with the marginal effect. You have to test for the hypothesis for the low effect and then you also have to test for the hypothesis for the column effect. Always remember, do not proceed to the marginal test effect if your decision for the interaction effect is rejected now. We only proceed to the test of marginal effect if there are no interaction between the factor A and factor B. So this is how you conduct two-way ANOVA test starting from constructing your hypothesis, completing your ANOVA table and by doing your analysis part. So in the next video, we will try to answer example 4.2 in your module. So until we meet again in next video. Bye.